Dracula, a real person or just a legend? Dracula is one of the most iconic names in horror history and one of the most beloved by people all over the world. But has anyone ever thought about how exactly this name came to be? Was Dracula just a figment of Bram Stoker's imagination or was he based on someone real? The truth will surprise you. The Count's History Despite popular belief, Vlad Tepes was not born in Transylvania. Though he is often referred to as Vlad the Impaler, Dracula was not actually his first name. Dracula was an alias he took on as Prince of Wallachia to separate himself from his father, Vlad II, Dracul of Transylvania. He was also known as Vlad III, Draculesti, the son of Dracul, and Tepes, his given name. Most people refer to him by one of these three names, though some scholars refer to him by his birth name, Vladislav II. However you choose to call him, it's important to understand that he was not born with Dracula attached to his name. Rather, it became associated with him after death when Bram Stoker wrote Dracula in 1897, Stoker's Inspiration and Influences. Stoker read several works that inspired his most famous novel. Some of them are credited in his notes to Dracula, but most notably, he cites Emily Gerard's work on Transylvania as one of his primary influences. If you're writing fiction and looking for more inspiration, you might consider reading Dracula and pulling out sections that seem like they could be pulled into your story. After all, there is nothing new under the sun, just new combinations of old things. What can we learn from our forebears? How can we improve upon their successes while avoiding their mistakes? We also find two pieces of evidence in his personal life that helped shape his story. First, when Bram was 22 years old, he fell deeply in love with a woman named Florence Balcombe. However, her parents disapproved because Bram was too poor at the time. Florence ended up marrying someone else, who eventually became prime minister. But she and Bram remained friends until her death many years later. Bran Castle Dracula's castle. Dracula's real name was Vlad III, a prince of Wallachia, and he ruled from 1456 to 1462. He built Bran Castle in Romania as one of his primary residents. The castle is rumored to have been built on top of an old Dacian fortress the original occupants of what we now call Romania. Vlad was fond of impaling his enemies against trees, hence Vlad the Impaler, one inspiration for Bram Stoker's famous character. During his lifetime, Vlad was known as Vlad Dracul, which means Vlad the Devil. It was only after his death that he became known as Dracula. So yes, it seems that there may be some truth behind some of those vampire legends after all. Bram Stoker's other works. Bram Stoker was an Irish author, best known for his 1897 novel, Dracula. He was born in Dublin on November 8, 1847, and wrote most of his works while living in London. Some of Stoker's other notable works include The Jewel of Seven Stars in 1903, The Lady of the Shroud in 1909, and The Lair of the White Worm in 1911. All three novels were marketed as horror stories, but received mainly negative reviews from literary critics at that time. After publishing Dracula, Stoker began working on another horror story titled The Undead, which he never finished. Instead, he focused his efforts on adapting his previous work into a play titled Dracula, the Stage Play, which premiered in London in May 1927 to positive reviews from both critics and audiences alike. In addition to writing fiction, Stoker also worked as an actor, theater manager, and business manager for Henry Irving's Lyceum Theater Company based out of London between 1878 and 1886. Vlad the Impaler Although Dracula is more of a legend, there is one real person who inspired Bram Stoker to write his famous novel. Vlad III was known as Vlad Draculea or Vlad Tepes and lived from 1431 to 1476 in Wallachia. He earned himself his nickname, the Impaler, due to his preferred method of execution, impaling people on stakes for days at a time. His victims included criminals, political rivals, and Turks. In fact, he became so notorious that many groups were afraid to attack him because they knew they would be impaled themselves. It's rumored that he killed over 100,000 people during his reign. 
So while he may not have been an actual vampire, he certainly has some traits in common with Dracula, immortality, and a taste for blood, of others. An alternate theory. It may shock you to learn that Dracula is not just another fictitious character, but was in fact a real person. Vlad Tepes, also known as Vlad Dracul, was called Vlad III, Vlad Dracula, among other names. In 1456, he became the Prince of Wallachia, after his father's death. That was a time when Christianity was prevalent in Eastern Europe, which led to conflicts with those who refused to convert. The Ottoman Empire controlled much of southeastern Europe at that time, and they wanted to expand their territory. One way they did so was by persecuting Christians and forcing them into exile, especially if they were nobles. Many people fled from Romania and settled in Transylvania, which borders modern-day Romania. When Vlad Tepes took over as prince, he made it his mission to protect those refugees from Ottoman oppression. Don't forget to like, comment down below, and subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.